All right, we'll try this one more time and see if this works. This is the early evening show for Monday. This is take number two. For those of you who are catching up with us, we're having some apparent problems here with Periscope at this point in time. So if you are, again, uh, keeping track of what's going on with the forecast, we'll have more on that coming up in just a little bit. Let me make certain we've got everybody in here who wants to be in here for Periscope. It looks like the everything is working. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, very good so far. Sound good looks like we're doing relatively okay signal could be a little bit better at this point in time but you can't have everything so again not doing too bad on that for the time being i'm meteorologist austin onik did that work Yes, it did. Okay, cool. All right, meteorologist Austin Onik reporting live and direct. Thanks to everyone for joining us here on a beautiful Monday evening here in the Mid-South area. We don't have, again, a lot going on where we see in the way of concerns for weather as of right now. Could be looking for some changes coming our direction as we get into later on this next couple of days. We'll talk more about that coming up here uh, in just a little bit. Welcoming everybody on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash WR. R E G joining you from the News Channel 3 backyard a couple of nights ago. We're now at House Onik backyard somewhere in Memphis. And as of right now, again, fairly quiet conditions into the Mid-South area where it comes to conditions across much of the Mid-South. Again, not seeing a lot of any problems today. A little bit of drizzle this morning. The clouds cleared off pretty nicely. But as of right now, things are pretty much done uh, where it comes to rainfall across much of the area. Apologies for the uh, inconvenience with everything going on into around the area where it comes to anything involving uh, the rain for this morning. But again, everything pretty well did a good job of clearing things off into the rest of the day today, so not doing too bad out there. Again, for the next couple of days, could be some more chilly conditions. If you heard us talk about that storm system that is going around the area close to the West Coast states, we'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. But as of right now, again, things decently quiet for much of the Mid-South area and into the course of the rest of the forecast. We should be seeing some more conditions on the cooler side coming up. Uh, thanks everybody for joining me again so far this evening. We're going to try to get going here in just a second, but unfortunately having some uh, issues getting our Facebook page ready to go. So give me just two seconds here for just a moment so we can get all that taken care of and get our Facebook people in here and working with us once again. Looks like we are going again, so we'll go ahead and give this another try. Hi, how are you doing? This is Monday evening's edition. Trying to slap some more tinfoil on the receivers, I guess, for the time being. This is Monday evening's edition of Weather Overtime, our online video weather blog. And again, so far looking good into the Mid-South. We are outside tonight, risking life and limb against any hardier mosquitoes or other dive-bombing bugs that may be out there for tonight, so we'll keep you updated. But fairly cool. Had to bring out the letter jacket for tonight. Again, decently cool out here, but it's fairly comfortable and should be looking at even cooler conditions. You're going to need something a little thicker than this in the next couple of days. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while. Radar at this time, again, zero to report in the way of rainfall. Not seeing anything in the way of precipitation coming up after all that rain left the area early this morning. So very dry conditions across the entire Mid-South and should be staying that way within the course of the next few days. Should add, if you've never been here before, uh, welcome to the show and glad to have everybody along. So if you have any questions about things, drop it into the comments section. Questions about the forecast or anything else going on, we'll do our best to update you on uh, what things look like out there uh, into the next several minutes. We'll talk a little bit more about the forecast for us and beyond in just a little while. No earthquakes to report in the last uh, 24 hours into and around the Mid-South area, so looking very good out there according to the Center for Earthquake Research and Information uh, from the University of Memphis. Mary Ann Corporal, welcome to the show. Linda Bell Heathcock, uh, ready for colder weather. Likewise as well here. Mary Jewell from South Fulton, Tennessee, welcome to the show. And once again, not seeing anything in the way of problems where uh, earthquakes are concerned from the New Madrid fault line. That one earthquake we had last, last Sunday, 3.6 according to the uh, Center for Earthquake Research and Information, but nothing showing up otherwise at this time, so very quiet across the area here. Still watching a large dip in the jet stream swinging on by that big drop that you see there into and around the Aleutians and the North Central Pacific between Hawaii and Alaska. That's part of a storm system that's plowing its way through the Aleutians, and that's doing a very good job of whipping up winds of about maybe 70 to 80 mile per hour wind gust, according to what the weather was like from the Alaska 
portions of the weather service up there and part of that that you see uh, whipping its way into the northern parts of the Pacific just between uh, the Aleutians and over portions of eastern areas of Japan just a few days ago that was super typhoon LAN L-A-N LAN that is making its way out into the Pacific and that's helping to kind of whip the jet stream like a rope or if you're out in the garden like a hose you give it a good uh, tug and that thing just whips a wave of energy through that's what's happening to the jet stream at this time and that huge dip in the jet stream is going to be bringing us some much cooler weather as we get into the course of the next couple of days. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while. Tropics at this time from the National Hurricane Center doesn't look like much and technically it's not at this point but down into around the area of the Caribbean, the Southwest Caribbean. A couple days ago this wasn't much of anything. It was just a less than a blip on the radar so to speak. In this case it is going to be going up to around uh, the possibility of a 50% chance of something developing in and around the Southwest Caribbean. Now, so far, again, it doesn't look like much. It's just a disorganized mess off of Nicaragua and just a little bit to the east of Belize. But here's the thing about this. If you are heading anywhere into the Gulf of Mexico into the next couple of days, you're going to want to watch this thing. Anywhere from Brownsville to Miami, New Orleans, Corpus Christi, Mobile, anything in that area, you want to watch this system because if this decides to make its way up and into the Gulf of Mexico, this could cause a very serious uh, dent in your travel plans, whether it's for business or pleasure, you definitely want to keep an eye on what's going on here. Welcome to everybody for joining us on Periscope and Twitter tonight. Glad to have you along for an update as to what's going on uh, in the Mid-South tonight. And thanks to everybody for joining us on Facebook on this very cool and dry Monday evening. Actually kind of cool here on the satellite picture because you can see here in the Mid-South we've got a lot of dry air sweeping on through and even more is on its way. We've got a new cold front that's going to be heading in from the north. You can actually kind of just almost see it right there in Missouri and parts of Kansas and that's going to be heading our direction within uh, the course of the next couple of days. Matter of fact, we checked the forecast and show on the surface it is basically right smack between St. Louis and Fort Smith. That is our next cold front making its way into the Mid-South area as we go into tonight and early tomorrow. Winds coming in out of the north and a lot of very cool air on its way to the area as we go into tomorrow. Now what's that going to do to our forecast? Well as of right now nothing major at this point in time. Our latest storm system getting chased on out of here and that storm system that's going to be making its way on through that reinforcing shot of cool air is going to be giving us again some very nice sunny conditions into tomorrow and the next couple of days. Next storm system is already kind of on the horizon looking back. Ooh, big mosquito flying on by. Sorry about that. Uh, next storm system way on out into the Pacific Northwest and that is going to be something that we're going to be uh, looking for out there. Kevin Dunn, welcome to the show. D-U-N-N. -N. Thank you very much for uh, spelling it out for us on that. Bozo Wolfolk, welcome from Senatobia. Nice to see you along for the ride uh, early this evening and quiet conditions into and around uh, your area as well in Senatobia for later on tonight. Now I'm getting leaves thrown at me. Special effects for you tonight. Not that much going on in the way of problems where weather is concerned from the National Weather Service in Memphis. Patchy frost close to the Tennessee River Valley as we go into around Wednesday morning. And then this weekend, mainly in the Tennessee River Valley, northeastern parts of Arkansas, Boot Hill of Missouri, that big cool down, what we just told you about, that large dip in the jet stream that we've been talking about for a while uh, with what's left of Typhoon Land making its way up into the Pacific. That's going to be causing temperatures to really start to drop in our area. And how much are we talking about? Well, tonight's lows, let me zoom in on Facebook so everybody can get a pretty good idea as to what we're looking at here. Temperatures will be back in the upper 40s across much of the area, including the metro, close to 50 degrees. And then by the time we get into tomorrow morning, this is where it's going to be a little bit on the breezy side. Temperatures by tomorrow, about the time the kids are at the bus stop, will be at their lows. And that's where we see, again, the numbers back in the high 40s. Now, combine that with winds pretty stiff out of the west-northwest at about 10 miles per hour. And we could be looking at wind chills tomorrow tomorrow in the lower 40s possibly a few upper 30s, so that could be a bit of concern into very early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's high temperatures back into the lower 60s only, and as we go toward Tuesday night, back into the 30s for most of the Mid-South, 
back into the delta and back into around portions of the metro area, temperatures will be back in the lower 40s only. So not quite as bad on the temperatures there, but a pretty brisk night coming up for much of the Mid-South tomorrow night. High temperatures on Wednesday, recouping maybe a little bit back in the lower 60s as the winds start to turn back around out of the south, southwest. So that'll help things stay not quite as chilly into around the area of Wednesday night. Melissa Kane, yeah, finally looking at some cooler weather for the Mid-South and even cooler weather other than this heading our way pretty soon. Now, Thursday's highs, we bounce a little bit. Normal for this time of the year. This is about as normal as you can possibly get, back into about the lower to mid-70s out there, and those winds will be turning around solidly from the south-southwest at about 10 miles per hour plus. Thursday night, low temperatures back in the upper 40s to right in about lower 50s for the metro area. Now, you've been asking probably about rainfall chances at this time. We're just not seeing anything in the way of rain anytime soon. Things are going to be very quiet out there for the time being. But as we go into Friday, that's where our chances of rain start to overspread the area. The RW minus means showers minor chances, less of a chance of anything involving huge amounts of rainfall starting off. But Friday morning going to school, the kids may need some rain protection, and that'll continue right on in through about Friday afternoon and evening. Much cooler on temperatures as our next cold front arrives sometime on Monday. You can see the winds on Friday morning out of the south-southwest ahead of that front and out of the north-northwest as we go into the rest of the day. Those winds will be continuing to turn, gusting 15 to 20 miles per hour so Friday night about the time the games kick off or if you're heading out on the town for anything going on shower is a good possibility does not look like thunderstorms at this time but could be decently breezy winds out of the northwest you're definitely going to need both some rain protection and again something to kind of ward off the chill if at all possible because we'll be looking at some pretty cool temperatures not exactly wind chill territory but by the time the games get started Friday night at about say six seven o'clock some temperatures on the wind chill side of things will be back in the lower to mid 40s so we could be seeing some rather cool numbers out that direction as we go into the next few days and that's that colder air that we've been talking about making its way into the mid-south bozo wolf folk ready for some snow not quite just yet but uh, keep that in mind and then high temperatures this next saturday we'll see some uh, clearing skies out there we should be looking at mostly clear skies by saturday night range coming to an end early on but high temperatures on Saturday. High temperatures on Saturday will be back into the lower to mid 50s. So that right there is roughly about maybe 20 degrees below normal for this time of the year. If that gives you any idea as to how brisk it is going to be across much of the Mid-South. So please keep that in mind. Let's see if we get Sunday on here. Sunday's high temperatures just about as cool back into the mid to upper 50s and should remain relatively dry as we head into the weekend. No sign of rainfall out there. Plenty of sunshine, a few clouds drifting on through, and that's going to be about it. And then for Sunday night, low temperatures back in the lower to mid 30s. Could be some freezing areas over into around Jackson, Tupelo, east of there toward the Tennessee River Valley. Not that much in the metro area, but if you have plants outdoors, it's time to start thinking about what to look for there. Again, low temperatures tonight, not that cool. Tonight's lows only back in the upper 40s, and it will be chilly for the kids as you head out to the bus stop out there. It is National or International Mole Day, as I should call it. Uh, Avogadro's number and what a mole is when it comes to chemistry or dealing with molecules in general, celebrating Mole Day on 10 to the 23rd, 10, 23, October 20. 23rd. You get that right there. Again, that's what we're talking about today. Scroll down or just hit the banner on my page and you can find out more about why this is such an important number and how cool science is when you think about it. Also, that's available facebook.com slash austinonicwreg and also available at aonic underscore wreg3 on Twitter to find out more about what's going on there. And apparently we're still having some problems uh, with Periscope, so we'll try to get that back up and running. Apologies uh, on that. It's uh, also available again from periscope.tv, and you can follow me along on there. Well, look, there's me watching me watching me. You can uh, find out more about what's going on there. If you'd like to know more about what the forecast is for the Mid-South, this website is all you need to do and go to is at austin.onic.com 
at WREG.com to find out a little bit more about what to look for. And you can get our exclusive 7 to 10 day forecast available there as well. Chances of rainfall available and again a decently cool weekend coming our way as we go into the course of the next couple of days. Also don't forget my complete forecast available on Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh. That'll be 7 to 9 a.m. Monday through Friday starting tomorrow at 7 a.m. But they will be changing times pretty soon. In about two weeks I believe they're going to 8 to 10 a.m. So you can hear them a little bit later as you go in through the rest of the morning. So please make certain to stop by and find out more there. And don't forget to check out our webcams available at wreg.com slash webcams for more. Questions, concerns, anything else? Jeremy Feathers, welcome to the show. Glad to have you along uh, watching on Facebook. Thanks to everybody for stopping by on Facebook and dropping your comments into the section there. We'll have more on your forecast again tomorrow morning on AM 730. Questions or concerns or if there's something on here you would like to see I would love to show it, but we can't do so unless you actually let me know. So the blue bar up there, austin.onic at wreg.com, and be glad to know what you're thinking. Again, check out the forecast in the blue bar right down here. We'll have more forecasts throughout the rest of the week at wreg.com slash weather, and more coming up throughout the rest of the week as well on air and online with News Channel 3. Live and direct from House Sonic Backyard with only a few mosquitoes in sight, so a nice little bonus surprise for right now. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us. And stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the night and the rest of the week.